I came up with the idea for Jurassic Kart when I was watching Jurassic Park and I did some research and found out there weren't any um, dinosaur racing games. So I wrote the game design document for Jurassic Kart and now we're making it. Modeling the dinosaurs from Jurassic Kart was different from my usual. I've done humans, more modern creatures like horses and such. So doing the dinosaurs was a little out of my comfort zone. However, the, the method, such as the white box or the box model, going into ZBrush, sculpting it, coming it back into Maya, retopologizing it, UV and wrapping and such. Coming up with the animations for the dinosaurs was rather a difficult challenge because obviously there are no living references so I had to create my own using horses and cheetahs. Along with using the animal referencing, I also acted out every single animation myself to fully understand the movements of the process involved. As involved me acting out the running animations, the falling animations, as well as the leaning, turning, and getting a better understanding of the body in that animation. Jurassic Kart is a very simple game, so we wanted to keep the environment just as simple as the characters and the, the actual game itself. So the trees are modelled using generic shapes, squares, rectangles, circles, triangles, uh, anything that kids between the ages of 6 and 12 would recognise as being shapes that they've learned in school. Well, one of the problems I faced was there was no way to limit the players to the game map. They were always escaping. We solved the problem in two ways. First ways, we uh, adapted the landscape of the track to be more confined, to have a, a sort of barrier between the track and the rest of the environment. And we also utilized many blocking volumes to keep the player inside the track. It's also a family game. Families will get involved. So having a simple game which everyone can enjoy was the, was the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. 